Hi, welcome to the Business Tech videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the PayPal connector for your PrestaShop website if you use the Connect for Social Networks plus PayPal and Amazon module. To do this, you will have to create a PayPal application and so I will show you how to do it. In the module interface, go to the Connectors tab. On the PayPal connector line, click on Edit. You get a form to fill out to configure the connector. To do this, you must create a PayPal app. Select Yes to show the connector when it has been created. Then you have to go to the following URL. You will also find this link in our FAQ about the PayPal connector creation just above the video. So you reach the PayPal for developers interface. This is where you have to create your application. First of all, you have to log in with your PayPal personal account or if you haven't got one, you have to create one. Click on Login to Dashboard and then if you don't have an account yet, you have to sign up. And if you already have an account, you have to enter your login details. Please note that if you create an account, you will have to confirm your email by clicking on the link that will be sent to you by PayPal. When this is done, you will be able to create your application. Then click on Login. Scroll down to the REST API Apps section. Click on Create App. You are asked to give a name to your app. I advise you to enter the name of your shop. For example, Business Tech App. Then you don't have to modify this field. In fact, by default, PayPal creates a test account for you. So here is your test address. So leave it and click on Create App. From this moment, your application is created. But you still have to configure it and link it to your shop. As you can see, thanks to the name of your application at the top of the page, you are going to configure your app. And here you have to be careful. As you can see here, you're in the sandbox, so in a test account. You have to click on the live button to enter your live account and really create your application for your shop. Here you can see that you have certain information about your application. You will have to copy this information into the module. So you have to go back into the module and you can see that you have to indicate the application ID. So you have to copy the client ID here and paste it in the field. You have to be careful not to include any spaces in the code, neither at the beginning nor at the end. You have to do the same for the secret application ID. So click on show and then copy the code and paste it into the module. As before, you have to be careful not to include any spaces in the code, neither at the beginning nor at the end. Then you have to go to your interface and in Live App Settings. There, click on Show and you have to give the callback URL, that is the URL where your customers will be directed after connecting with their PayPal account. You will find this URL in the module. Here, you just have to copy it 
and to pass it in the matching field. Then in the App Feature Options section. Don't modify the options that are already checked. Select Login with PayPal to activate the connector and allow your customers to connect by using their personal account. And then click on Advanced Options. You can configure the data you want to receive about your customers. So I suggest that you check all the options. Personal, Address, Account Information. Finally, you are asked to give two links, the Privacy Policy URL and the User Agreement URL. If you don't have these links, you can enter the URL of your general terms and conditions of your shop. Or if you don't have this URL, enter the URL of your shop. So I will take the link to my general terms and conditions of my shop and I paste it here. I can use the same URL for both fields, so I paste it also here. But if you have the URL of privacy policy, you have to paste it here. And if you have your URL of user agreement, you have to paste it here. Then save and go back into the module and click on Update. You then have to go to the Hooks tab to define where you want to display your PayPal connector. For example, on the Authentication page. So you click on Edit and you have to drag and drop the connector here and then Save. Go back to the previous tab, Connectors. You can see that the connector is now linked to your login page. You can check it by going to the login page. So I go to my front office and in the login page, I can see that the connector has indeed been created. So this ends the video. Thanks for watching and see you soon on Business Tech website.